What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. And tonight, I'm here to discuss um, super, middle, super middleweight champion Andre S.O.G. Ward, who returned this past Saturday night after a self-inflicted 19-month lay uh, layoff where he defeated um, super middleweight contender uh, Paul Smith via TKO in the ninth round. The fight was uh, contra contracted at... 171 pounds or 172 pounds, I believe. War, <coughs> excuse me. War came in at 171. Uh, Paul Smith came in at 175. You know, whatever, whatever. It's not really a review of the fight. It's to really talk about Andre uh, Ward and what are his options and, um, you know, is he really back? Um, in my opinion, Andre Ward looked it very good considering he had been off for 19 months. Uh, his jab was there. His speed was there. His power were, you know, it was some power there. You could tell he was working on some things. Uh, he threw the left uppercut a lot more um, than we were accustomed to seeing him, you know, do in his previous fights. He had some killer instinct, you know, um, about him in this fight. He wanted wanted to impress his home crowd of Oakland um, by getting a stoppage. You know, he, he went for it. He, he battered the slower... Um, less talented Paul Smith all over the ring. Um, he was composed. He did get rocked with a few shots, um, but that's to be expected because, like you said, even though he's sparring and, and whatnot, uh, it's nothing like a real fight to really shake off the rust. But he he, he threw the right hand, and, and he, he really was, you know, like I said, assertive and, and trying to make a statement that he's back and that he's a force to still be reckoned with. And this is always great to see a top caliber fighter back in the ring, no matter who he's fighting. Um, obviously, his opponent's uh, competent level of competition will will rise as he continues to 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 you know make this comeback. But um, I think that he had a, a first good outing, and now it's time to move on up. Uh, this fight took place on BET because. Rightfully, rightfully so, HBO refused to pay for pay uh, high money for this type of tune up uh, against Paul Smith. So I expect you know Ward's next fight to be on HBO. Um, he's a, a top guy that they really need. Although his style is not the most exciting. When it, like I said, whenever you have a great young fighter or a great fighter, um, you need to keep him on your network by any means necessary. Um, also, you're trying to build a fight with Gennady Golovkin. Um, that fight has been talked about over and over and over. Fans all over the world want to see that fight happen, myself included. Um, you had the GGG fans who believe he stops um, Ward maybe eight or nine rounds. And you have the Andre SOG Ward fans uh, who believe he just outboxes and completely exposes Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Um, like I said, this is what makes the fight intriguing. Both guys have pros and cons to why they can win this fight and why they can lose this fight. Uh, it's been talked about a lot um, over the last two years. A lot of you know back and forth between both guys' camps on what's really been going on, who really wants to fight, who really doesn't want to fight. So you know that that's a fight at 168 that that's definitely uh can cause. A reason for war to return to 168. You also have newly crowned IBF super middleweight champion De James DeGale, um, who defeated um, Andre Ward's Olympic uh, teammate and friend Andre Durrell in a close competitive fight. Um, that's a fight that that could be you know interesting at at 168, and DeGale has called for that fight. You also have the you know the Andre Durrell who I just mentioned as a fight. You know that that could be intriguing. Um, Andre Durrell showed that he's still a top quality fighter. Uh, still has his, his speed, reflexes, and, and skills about himself. Um, and plus, they were supposed to fight way back in the Super Six in the third round before Andre Durrell pulled out with the injury he suffered against Arthur Abraham. So that's another fight um, that could be made. But for all intentions, I think that um, if Andre Ward doesn't fight Gennady Golovkin. I don't think he goes back to 168 because really 
I don't think it's gonna be a a rematch between him and Carl Frotch. Um, they've been going back and forth in the media against it, you know, back and forth throwing shots towards each other. But who knows if they really want to fight each other again? Um, so that leaves 175 light heavyweight division where you have Sergey Kovalev, Adonis Stevenson, uh, John Pascal, Arthur Beertree. Sorry if I mispronounced his name. Um, you have uh, Andrade Fanfara. You know, it's definitely you have definitely some some capable guys in that division that will make for uh, some good, exciting matchups for um, Andre Ward. Andre Ward uh, and Sergey Kovalev comes to mind. Everybody either wants to see him for versus Triple G or or versus Kovalev. You know, Kovalev is a monstrous puncher. Um, he's not just a a big puncher. He can box. Has a very good jab. He's shown um, the ability to to take a punch, um, to to mix it up. He has good body work, and like I said, he poses a a definite threat for um, Andre Ward. You know, Adonis Stevenson is another guy who who can punch, who can box. He's very athletic, has fast hands, um, but you know his chin is questionable. <clears throat> Like I said, he he can challenge Ward as well, but I think Ward is 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 well equipped to you know dispatched dispatched uh Adonis Stevenson. You know John Pascal is another fight I would love to see Andre Ward participate in. Um, that has fireworks written all over over it. John Pascal is resilient. Um, he can punch. I mean it, he keeps coming. It keeps coming. Um, you know he has an unbreakable will. You see what he did battling back against. Sergey Kovalev when he was basically out on his feet, but you know regained his 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 bearings about himself and and started winning winning a few rounds and, and troubling Sergey Kovalev before ultimately ultimately getting stopped. So Sergey Kovalev, I mean, so John John Pascal is definitely a, a fighter that you know would be you know a good matchup with Ward and Andrade Fanfara who is. Managed by Al Heyman, so I don't think that fight is likely. But like I said, if both guys can come, you know, both teams can come to an agreement, HBO being on board, I mean, anything is possible. Um, Andre Fanfara is another tough guy who presents challenges. I think that Ward will win this fight, but, you know, Fanfara has quick hands. He he has power. He can he can box a little bit. He, he's, he, he's lanky. He has, you know, a uh, good jab. He's tall. I mean, he's improving, you know. He he dropped a Dunn and Stevenson in their fight, although he was dropped you know, t as well. But he pushed a Dunn and Stevenson to the brink after it seeming like it was going to be a whitewash. But he came back, battled back like a true warrior, and, and, and you know, made some things happen in that fight. He also stopped uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and dropped him. So he made Chavez Jr. quit. Um, and that was a very impressive performance. He was looked at as a, a guy by some people as a tune-up or, you know, a winnable fight. And going in that fight, I just I just knew that Favreau was the better guy. He would dominate the the the, the unfocused um, Chavez Jr. And that's what he did. He he dismantled him. He dismantled him uh, round after round. He really couldn't deal with the speed. And the power, the movement of um, of Funfara. So you know, those are some options for him. And Arthur Beertree, um, he's relatively new. He's a young fighter. He's defeated uh Capitillo and Tavores Cloud by brutally knocking them both out. Um, he's a big puncher, obviously. Um, but I think that he's a ways away from being ready to fight Andre Ward. All the Ward is coming off the 19 month layoff. He's still. It's levels to it, and and water three waters, you know, two or three levels ahead of uh, Arthur at this moment. So, you know, those are some guys that he can fight from the super middleweight division or the light heavyweight division. Like I said, I'm glad that Andre S O G Ward is back. Um, he showed like some more pop at 175. Uh, he he showed a different uh, array of punches. You know, uh, he's shaking off the rust. So, who would you like to see him face next? If it's not one of those six guys um, that I mentioned, who who else that you know maybe I missed the name from the super middleweight division or the light heavyweight division that can that that's definitely a step up above Paul Smith, but not quite on the level of a a Kovalev, Pascal, Darrell, DeGale, GGG quite yet because he's coming off a long layoff. 
So if there's anybody I forget to, to mention that you would like to see him step up and see next, um, leave it in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to Colossal Box and Talk. Head over to Facebook, like our Colossal Box and Talk Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ColossalCBT. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.